hi how are you doing welcome to this video and this channel and in this video i want us to differentiate two courses that are offered in various tvet institutions that is diploma in information communication and technology dict and diploma in information science or dis and the main aim of these videos is to help you differentiate between the various courses learn about the knowledge skills and attitudes that you are supposed to gain while pursuing these courses, learn about the requirement of these courses is simply matching our skills, talents and potentials to the right courses so that we can end up pursuing certain courses successfully and within the minimum time, effort and also resources. Goes to be honest, I've seen very many people take more year than they are supposed to take in school, spend more money in terms of school fees and upkeep than they are supposed to. So it's worth taking your time to research about various courses before you decide to settle on a certain course. If you would like to check my videos on civil engineering, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, building and construction, you can check them in the link shown here or in my video description here. Now let us go to our work for this video. And we are going to start our video with Diploma Information, Communication and Technology uh, course. And just like other courses, this is a modular course in that you are going to start with the first year of study, that is modular. Uh, you take a certain number of units which have been combined into a number of papers during the Kenya National Examination Council exam at the end of the year. If you pass all the papers or fail at most two, you'll be able to proceed to the next level of study, which is module two. But you must redo the papers you failed, they are called reverse, you must do your reverse. Then in the second year of study, that is module 2, you take a number of units. From this unit, uh, you take a number of papers in your Kenya National Examination Council exams at the end of the academic year. You must either pass all of them or fail at most two papers for you to go to the next year of study, which is the uh, module 3. Then in the third year of study, again, you are going to take a number of units, which will be at the end of the year, will be combined into a number of papers, and you must at least pass all of them or fail at most two for you not to be considered to have successfully pursued your third year of study. If you manage to pass all years without the first, or you get a number of the first but you manage to do them successfully, then you will be given your certificate in Diploma Information Communication Technology or in the case of Diploma Information Science, you get your Diploma Information Science certificate. The first mark for passing a certain paper, which could be a combination of several subjects is 40 percent so in case you fail a certain paper you are allowed to do the paper a total of three times but you must pass the paper within five years from the date of the first CT, which actually is a lot of time if you have still not done your refer in five years i don't know what you'll be doing in that particular course actually will be growing old in that particular course i wouldn't say you'll be pursuing that course you'll be growing old in that particular course of which is completely unnecessary is what Selecting a course that matches your potential so that you can finish the course successfully. But actually, it does happen. I've seen many, many people almost five years down the line since they graduated or left institution or since they started their course, they are yet to get their certificate. So it does happen. Now, for the first year of his study, we have Introduction to Information, Communication and Technology. Uh, in the, we also have Computer Applications. Here, you uh, discuss the various types of computer applications. Then you do communication skill, which we said is uh, crucial to anyone. Then you do a unit in structured programming. And this unit in structured programming is intended to equip the trainees with knowledge and skills uh, to write program using structured language. And then uh, you do computational mathematics. I like uh, mentioning something about mathematics because very many people have a long uh, perception about various courses. Actually, in IT, I see a lot of wrong uh, perception. Because a lot of people uh, pursue this course expecting not to do any mathematics at all. So do not pursue uh, an IT course expecting not to uh, do mathematics unit at all. Actually, in your first year of study, you do a bit of maths. Um, then there is the operating system. We also do something to do the operating, computer operating system. And then in the second year of study, there is project, research project. We will do system analysis and design and 
oh this is what you are supposed to do in analysis and design then uh, you also take a unit on object oriented uh, programming and by the end of this unit you should be able to write a program using object oriented uh, programming languages such as C++ and Java and then you should uh, be able to write program using visual uh, programming languages then you should also you're going also to cover or to take a unit on data management system and this unit will put you with knowledge on construction and management of uh, data management systems and then in your that you are starting you take a unit on uh, data communication uh, and networking this is more of a uh, networking transfer data from one uh, computer to another or from one location to another we also take a unit on management of information system. Now this is what you are supposed to cover in this unit. Uh, it will you with knowledge on uh, management of information system. Just like other areas, you also take a unit on principles of uh, principles and practices of management. This will equip you with knowledge on how you can manage an organization. Uh, you learn about various functions of a manager, uh, such as uh, planning, organization, staffing, directing. Then there is another unit which is also a bit of mathematics. The study of study called quantitative methods. And you do a bit of uh, statistics and probability and application of this in IT. That is linear programming, estimation and test of hypothesis, decision making and simulation. You do a unit on internet based programming. Uh, various programs that uh, you can use to develop a uh, website and other internet resources. You have your business plan in the third year of study, how to write a business plan. The course is supposed to take a total of three years and uh, you are supposed to go for two industrial attachments. That is after the first after the end of first year of study and after the end of the second year of study. As per the syllabus, the entry for this course is a CPRIN, Kenya National Examination Council. Uh, you will be accepted by any institution and also you will be eligible to sit for Kenya National Examination Council exam if you have a C-. And these are the units that are examinable. Uh, but sometimes units will be combined in a single paper. I'm not sure about all the units in uh, IT whether they are combined. But at least I know in uh, electrical engineering some of the units are combined. And at least the syllabus states that uh, there is a requirement of a computer degree per student, a single computer per student. But again, if you have your own uh, laptop, that one will be very useful. I think that is it about diploma in information, communication and technology. But remember, always do more research on your own. So you go through the syllabus for the diploma in information science. In the first year of study for diploma in information science, you take this unit. You take a unit in communication skills, life skills, information, communication and technology, entrepreneurship. I think so far everything is similar to any other course, whether engineering, agriculture, business. Then there is correction management, how you can manage the various data or information that is corrected to be stored. Record management, preservation and conservation of information and materials. I probably have not mentioned for the diploma in information, communication, technology. Uh, these are IT guys who are supposed to work in various institutions, industries, uh, businesses as IT technicians. But for the Diploma in Information Science, uh, they are supposed to work in uh, mostly in libraries, archives, and other areas that need uh, storage of information. Uh, in the second year of study, that is module 2, they will take units on quantitative techniques. System analysis and design, I think we have seen that for diploma information, communication technology. They will take a unit on library management, they will take a unit on archive management. Uh, they can also work in areas involving publishing and book trade. Uh, they take a unit on management of information in the society and also they have the business plan. Same scenario applies, uh, you only move on to the next year of study if you pass all the papers or you are referred at most two papers. But remember, if you fail more than three papers, that is a complete fail for the entire year and you either have to repeat the entire year or change the course altogether. So it does happen, people waste time in school, repeating years, doing reverse. So it's worth taking a course that matches your potentials. Uh, it's not worth trying to show somebody, you can 
take a more popular course or you can take a more challenging course and do not compete with anyone. Just do your course, pass with the college successfully. In the third year of study, that is module three. Take a unit on principles and practices of management. You take units on marketing of information science. Uh, how information, for example, how information on the research finding can be marketed. Uh, you do a uh, unit in, in information retrieval and dissemination. You take a unit on management of information system and services. And then you take a unit on how to manage digital library. Uh, this way all information is kept on the digital space or in the websites or some type of data basis. Then you take a unit on legal aspect of information and finally there is uh, trade project. So that is it, that's what you are supposed to do. Uh, and just like other courses, two attachment entry for this course is a uh, C minus. Or if you have a relevant craft course and you still be eligible for this course. Uh, but just to mention, uh, the unit is supposed to be both theoretical and practical. You can see the time allocation. Accurate time is allocated for various units, practical and theory. So at least you will be expected to do practical work. Especially when it comes to programming, uh, practical work will be very crucial. You can see how much time is allocated. Uh, here I'm quoting the Diploma in Information Communication Technology syllabus. Uh, actually, a lot of time is allocated for the practical. So that is it. I believe I've given you enough information about the, these two courses, Diploma in Information Communication and Technology and Diploma in Information Science. So it's now up to you to decide depending on your interests, what you want to do. Diploma in Information Communication and Technology have quite a lot of programming which actually is where most of the students find problems uh, together with the computational mathematics. So if you are somebody who likes math, programming and math goes together, so Diploma in Information Communication Technology will be good for you. But if you want to like uh, kind of uh, shift away from mathematics a little bit, and then I think Diploma in Information Science will be good for you. So all in all, there are so many courses you can pursue. Learn about as many courses as you can. Check my videos on the link shown here or on my video description here and uh, select a course of your choice. Also share my videos to your friends, your schoolmates, your brothers, your sisters so that they can also get to know about these courses.